Welcome to Music Teach and Tech. In this video, I will teach you how to merge your songs easily using online audio joiner. So please hit the like button below, subscribe, and ring the bell for you to be notified when we have a new video up on YouTube. Let's get started. Go to audiojoiner.com. You can find the link below, so please click it so that you can follow this tutorial. In the home page of your audio joiner, you will be able to see the add tracks icon, which is color green. So this is your project page. This is the place where we are going to do our work and also drag all our tracks. You can add tracks here in two ways. First, click the icon add songs or this add tracks, browse a folder where you saved your mp3s and select them all and click OK. So that's the first step that you can do. The second one is the easiest one that I would recommend for you to do. If you want to add all your tracks or songs at once, just Control A or Command A on Mac, Windows it's Control A, then drag all of them to this area. Okay, there you go. You're done. You can also drag your song one by one, just like this. Yeah. Or just like what I mentioned, you can select all the songs and drag them at once. If you wish to join more songs or tracks, no worries, because there is no limit on the number of tracks that you can join. To change the order of the songs, you can click the track and move this up and down. This arrows here, just click it, move it up and down. Or you can just click the track and drag it up and down in your project area. If you move it down, it will be positioned down. If you want it to be um, the first, you can just drag it up and that's it. So basically, if you look at my project, this is the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth song. Once the track is selected, the color is green. If it's not selected, the color is gray. So be careful when you are editing, you might be confused. To select the part that you would like to be added to your project, you just need to move this thick um, vertical line on the left side and thick vertical line, which is on the right side. You just drag them. If it's the left, you need to drag it to the right. And this right thick vertical line here, just drag it to the left. Okay, and then choose the region or area that you would like to cut. And that's it. Remember, if the color is green, it's active. That's your selected part. While you are choosing the area that you would like to add in your project, you can also listen to each section. You can do that by clicking the center of your track here and hit play. So you can just click this here, this play button here, or hit space if you are using Windows. And also, you can also press space if you are using Mac. So let me just continue selecting my parts and I'll get back to you. After selecting the parts, you can already enable the fade in, the crossfade, and also the fade out by clicking these icons. The icons is color green when it's enabled, okay? And it's gray when it's disabled. So it's a good approach to add crossfades in between the tracks and fade out at the end of your song. When your song has crossfade enabled, it will give you a smooth transition from the first song, for example, to the second song or second song to the third song and so on and so forth. When your um, fade out is enabled, it will give you a smooth ending. If 
in case that your intro or the beginning of your song is abrupt and you didn't cut it properly, it would be better to add fade in because the fade in will give you a very good start. So after completing your project, listen from the beginning and check everything um, if everything goes um, according to your arrangement. So to listen, just click the first track in the middle and then hit play. It will continue playing from the beginning till the end of your song in your project. If you are happy with your arrangement, proceed to the last step, which is to join all the songs. Remember to check the format before you click join. The default format should be MP3. So if it's not MP3, please change it. If it is MP3, leave it as it is. Okay, and then click join. Now it's processing. Now your audio is ready to download. Here is now my downloaded file. Okay, I'll just rename this one. For example, um, Chris um, Sample Mash Up. So that's how you merge songs using online audio joiners. So I hope this helps. Have fun making music and I'll see you in the next video episode. Cheers, everyone. Bye.